Hello community! Today, a little bit of some advanced interactive visualization in a Google Colab notebook. At first, we import our NumPy and our Panda dependencies, and then we are up to a fresh start with just say pip install Plotly, and then we import Plotly Express, and just to be on the safe side, also take on the graph objects, which we will explore in the next video. Okay, next step is we take the data that are within the Plotly data that they prepare as an example, and we have a look at the data I want to show you today. As you can see, we are still installing Plotly. We uninstalled the current 5.5 .5 version, and we should be able to install 5.10 successfully installed. Beautiful. This is all we need. This is it in Jupyter, in Colab. Forget about anything else. Here we go. Now, I have my data. I have a country and I have a year and I have everything in a Panda data frame. So my country, my unique countries are, okay, the countries of the world. And then I have the year from 1952 to 2007. And here you see the head of my data frame and it just tells me a country, a continent, the year, the life expectancy, the number of the population, a GDP per capita and some isometric code. Great. So let's start with a visualization. You are familiar, I say plotly express px.scatter. I import the data frame, I say what's my x-axis, what's my y-axis, and then I just say animation frame, take a year, and for the animation group, I want the countries. I say the size of my marker is the population size, the color should be the continent, and if I hover over a specific data point, I want to have the country in bold and then all the information that it's stored in my Panda data frame. Just logarithmic scale, oh yeah, logarithmic scale, we have 100, 1000, 10k, 100k, and this is it. You can say the, the maximum size of your bubble you want to have and the range from the x-axis and the y-axis. You can define what information is displayed. And then you have an animation, and here we go. And this is where, more or less, we ended up last time. But now have a look at this. Yes, you can run with your slider forward and backward, and you have other color coding, whatever you like. But what is nice, have a look. I take the exactly same code. I say panda express, <laughs> plotly express dot scatter, and now I just add one command, and I say, hey, show me the facets, and to a continent cluster. Have a look at this. I find this a very helpful visualization if I look at the dynamics of clusters in 2D. And if I look at the time development of clusters. Here you have now all our countries within the continent of Asia. You have all the different countries, Switzerland, United Kingdom, uh, Spain, in the continent of Europe. You have all the different countries, Algeria, Sudan, Somalia, Within Africa, America, you know, this is US, of course, Colombia, Mexico, Cuba, and then we have Oceania. Oh my goodness, this is small. New Zealand, hey, welcome. And you always have GDP per capita on the x-axis and the life expectancy on the y-axis. And as you can see here in our mission, we start in the year 1952 and we run all through 2007. Have a look at this animation. It runs in Colab. Simple, two lines of code. Whatever data you have in your Panda data frame, insert it. You want to see how your profits go up, your costs go down at the same side. Show up two clusters, costs go down, profits go up. Show the rise of your whatever it is that you want to see. So beautiful, this animation, if you have just the command facets and whatever Panda data frame column you choose, put in the name of the column. And here we go, nothing else to do. Of course, just show you, you can write this whole out on an HTML file and this HTML file you can download, you can send it per email to your colleagues and just wait a second for the download, it is interactive. So if your colleagues open this in their mail, they have, you can say autoplay is on, I have autoplay on, they say, they see the animation and they can adjust it, they can run it. And this is a beautiful way to visualize your data. 
and you don't have if you're somewhere i don't know accounting you boring excel sheets my goodness this is so 191990 something else next another kind of visualization let me show you this is a tree map a tree map in 2d 3d a little bit later on but it is what is a tree map it is easy it shows you the same data but now we have one block this is the world then we have a block asia and within asia we have china and india and indonesia and all the different countries and you have all you have it interactive and you hover over with your cursor you see all the data then you have africa here color coded with all the different countries population size, Egypt, the life expectancy, for example. Then here you have Americas with United States, Mexico, Brazil, Canada. So this is North and South America. Then here you have the small size of Europe. And down there you have Oceania. This is really tiny. And for example, this is the information. You can have the box size depending on the population size. And you can color code the box given, for example, the life expectation from the data from 1952 to 2007. Of course, this you can also save as an HTML and an interactive presentation. You send it by email, put it on your homepage, a very nice thing. Now, let's go from two dimension to three dimension. Three dimensional animations in Python, in Colab, in a Jupyter notebook. Easy. At first, you need the data. We take our data and we say, hey, let's focus on the year 2002, whatever you choose. And then you have the same command. You say, hey, plotly express px.scatter 3D. You have now the data file. You say, what is my x, what is my y, and what is my z component? You can give it a title. Hey, 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 we have a title. You can color code it, the size of the markers, the population. And now for the first time, I said, I want to have a clear representation on my computer screen. So I increase the default height, the, the width and the height of the output. And then I can further specify some design elements. Now this hops over to the graphical objects. So I don't think that it's the pure express version, but hey, it works in express. And it prepares you when we do the step from Express to the full-fledged uh, Plotly version. You have here the data, and then you have a layout, a design layout. And this is what we call a data trace, and this is what we call the layout version. So be prepared if we slightly move into the more professional package. So what we do, we say, hey, update our layout. And our font family is now a specific font, whatever you choose. The default font color for everything is blue. And if I want to say, hey, the title font color or color should be red and the title font size should be this. And we are good to go. I say, just show me now what we created. And as you can see here, we have now with a height of 888 pixel, we are almost full frame. Hey, great, we can zoom in a little bit. Oh no, I'm missing the, oh yeah, I have no animation yet. So this is what you can have a look at. You can zoom in and this is the, the time slice of 2002. And as you can see here, uh, this is color coded our GDP per capita and our life expectancies compared. This is the title we inserted here. And it is title font color red, and this is Times New Roman, if you can differentiate it from the other fonts. Great. Now, let's choose in a three-dimensional, uh, now, a specific continent. Let's have a little bit of a different view. It is just one line of code, as you can see. And, yes, come on. Here we go. Now, I've chosen a, a different visualization where I show you, just hold on a sec. Um, I focus now on the continent of Europe, and those are the countries that we have data in the continent of Europe. And I choose here on the x-axis the year, so we go from 1960 to 2002, and the life expectancies goes from 45, increases to 80. So you wish to be here, 
and on the Z axis I have 12 if you want, so you want to be in this corner and you want to be way up here, like here, Norway 2007, with a high life expectancy and a great uh, GDP per capita. So you can view this, so I color coded now not the years but the countries, so you see here, here we have Turkey 1952, Turkey 1962, Turkey 1977, Turkey 1992, so this trace here is Turkey for example. And so you can have visualization of all your different countries and you would see immediately an outlier. Now what you can see here for example, that this country stays rather flat if you think about going up for GDP per capita, where on the other side, and it's also in the same color, I'm so sorry, you have here, yeah, let's go here, this is Norway, this is Norway 2002, this is Norway 1997, this is Norway 1992, so you see Norway went up here and other countries are between both extreme position in this graph. So this is how you can very easily compare in 3D your data. But what we want is, of course, an animation in 3D. My goodness, this will be the next one. And here I have to show you something. What I want to show you here. Oh, yeah, you can, yeah, again. You know, if you have defined your scatter plot in 3D with the Plotly Express, another command you can also use if you want to have a bigger marker size. So your bubble should be a little bit bigger. If you need this, just want to show you the command, update traces, marker size is 12, 14, whatever you choose. Let's have a look at this, how this looks like. And of course the result you can save, as you know, right, HTML, you can save it in an interactive HTML file and you can send off. Ah, as you can see here, I have now my animation frame where I say the frame, each frame is one year and the animation group is the country. So here we go. Let's focus a little bit nicer. How we want to do it? Let's, let's do this one. And then we say, okay, animation in 3D on a collab, on a free collab. I just used my CPU. I don't want to uh, lock up the GPU if somebody else is doing some research. So you see. Maybe no, it's not the best position. Let's have a look maybe at this one. Visualization here is a little bit better. So you have to find your point of view, how you want to rotate it. And then you can see here, the countries are all over the place. Here, all these different countries are now color coded. And the year slice is in the animation. And you have on Y, the life expectancy, and on Z, the GDP per capita. So very nice, you can send also this right three-dimensional visualization interactive into right HTML and you can send it off per email and everybody who has access to this file, since the content of the file includes the complete visualization and in, is interactive, if this person has access to a browser, no problem at all, they can see this interaction. So 3D interaction. But we can do better, huh? we can do better. Now let's color code the GDP, for example. And you know the command, I don't have to tell you anymore, except that I have color coded now the GDP per capita. The animation frame is again the year and the animation group is also the country. And here we go, as you can see. And I have chosen now to color code the z-axis, the growth in the z-axis. So you see here we start in the year 1952, we are all down here in the black, in the, in the dark blue region, and then we hope that everybody will come up to the red, and then to the orange, and finally to the yellow region, if we go on to the year 2007. So let's start this 3D animation, and as you can see, yes, now they come up, yeah, and now you see that it changes, Maybe we choose our perspective to the angle a little bit different. Yeah, this should be a nice view. Let's start here. You can see all the countries walk to higher life expectancies and then they climb up the wall here to become wealthier in the United States. You have here, what is this, Japan. What you have here, Norway, Singapore, Kuwait, Ireland, Hong Kong. This is exactly how or what you would expect 
as the years go by from 1952 after World War II to 2007, where we have these free data available from Plotly. You see they climb up here and this is a beautiful 3D. So whatever you want to color code, uh, it is nice if you have this particular axis also as a growth axis. Okay, and the last one, yes, you can write this, of course, in an HTML file. And the last one, just for demonstration purpose, and I'll color code the continent. I want to see the growth of the, on the specific continent. How did, does this look like? So here we go. Where do we grow? We will grow here on GDP per capita. So we have here Asia, Europe, Africa, the Americas. You see here United States, here we have China, and here we have India. Life expectancy is in 1952, we start 1952, is quite low. India has a life expectancy of 37 years in 1952. And at the same time, Japan had a life expectancy of 63 in 1952. So we already see at the starting point quite some distribution of the data points. Europe is in this kind of orange, Asia is in this kind of blue, Africa is in this kind of green, Americas more or less purple, and Oceania, oh yeah, here we are, is also available. <laughs> so let's start the visualization and you will see we go up to the right, high life expectancies, and then we climb up the wall to more wealth. This is now in 3D, your animation, you can turn it around, you can run it from every angle you prefer. You just have to fix the view before you run it if you want to send it off as an HTML because this particular view that you choose here, for example, this will stay on more or less. But since it is interactive, your viewer, your user, your press, whatever, they can, when if it's finished, you can turn it around. Yeah, maybe let's show you, do a short demonstration that you will see exactly what I mean. We have the file here. 3D animation continents color coded. Let's download this file. Takes a little bit of time. Yes, yes, yes. Almost done. And then here I have the file. I open up my file in my browser. And here we are. Ah, auto running. Ah, yes, you can see my, my screen here. I have a particular screen size. So I will show you in the next videos how to optimize this that you are not only have here an auto width, but you have an auto optimization for the available screen. But for this, we need a more professional Plotly that is also free, open source, but now we have then graphic objects. So as I told you, you can rotate it in, you can zoom in, you can zoom out. If you have this file, you can have this running, this visualization, you see they run, they run up this wall, this wealth wall, here you have the United States, here you have Japan, here you have Switzerland, you have Norway, you have Ireland, Singapore, Kuwait. These are the data that we have from 1952 to 2007. You see, whatever representation you choose, it is so nice, you can do it. And it is a really strong visualization instrument you have. So whatever your data you have available, in your data frame, and as I showed you, our data were very simply, here we are, the data in a data frame, our data frame looked like this. We have here all the different countries, continents, and then we have different columns where we have our data, and defining the x, y, and z axis, here x and y for 2D, you can have beautiful animations within one or two lines of code. You don't have to care about anything anymore in the new versions of Plotly. If you're working at Jupyter Notebook, if you work on Colab, you have no nothing to do with inline and matplotlib, inline visualization and I, whatever, forget it. It's everything taken care of. It works great out of the box. I really can recommend it. And I hope you enjoyed it a little bit. I see you in the next video.